Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in today. Today, we're gonna talk about lure covers. I'm gonna show you how to make some really cheap and easy because they're expensive and who wants to pay for fishing gear when you can make it cheap and do it yourself? And we're repurposing materials, which is always good. But before we jump into that, if you end up liking today's video, please check out our channel page where we've got a lot of great videos you can subscribe and join our already awesome list of subscribers and just see the other content that we got out there. So that's my plug. Let's jump into why we're here today. All right, y'all. So if you've ever transported your fishing rods in the trunk of your car, bed of your truck, in your kayak crate, however you get them there, you know that things love to get tangled. Like me, for example, I like to leave my rods in the kayak crate on the trailer just you know in the kayak ready to go and it was never an issue before but big pomp in here he like uh one day blew loose got tangled in my yak attack flag made a whole bunch of mess all right y'all so a few weeks ago i bought the pompadour junior um i call it big pompin going down the road it came unhooked from the rod flew into the yak attack visi pole and has now taken ownership of the flag and i don't know if it's ever going to come out and so i can't i have rods that i just keep in the trunk of the car and they get tangled so i wanted some lure covers and then i got to looking at them and they are expensive like they're like re expensive when you break them down like what they cost per lure cover they're ridiculous so i'm going to show you how to make some really cheap easy ones and the great thing about these lure covers is they don't have to be pretty they just have to be functional which is good because i don't do a whole lot of pretty on this channel i do a lot of functional so let's go inside and i'm going to show you how i made them all right everybody making these is pretty straightforward and simple there's only a few things that you need you're going to need some velcro i got the stick on kind um, even though i'm using hot glue you could also get the sew on kind since you're gluing it anyway it really doesn't matter in my particular case the stick on velcro was actually cheaper than the sew on which is kind of unusual but that's why i got stick on you're gonna need a hot glue gun you can also use super glue i prefer hot glue and you need material now there are a lot of different things you can use for material um vacuum sealer bags though they're not as strong but if you get the commercial grade ones they're generally thick enough um you can use like those bags that uh your sheets and blankets and stuff come in those zipper up bags that's very thick material those are very very good um i don't have any of those at the moment surprisingly um, what i do have is some giant size um vacuum sealer bags for like clothing and stuff the kind you hook your vacuum cleaner to and they suck the air out i have a few that i had sitting out of the closet um and the dogs were jumping on them and they put little pinholes in them uh, but it's pretty tough material and it's definitely going to work for what we need so that's what i'm going to do is repurpose the bag into some of these lure covers so what i did for this one is i cut along the seam on the outside of the bag that's already there it just takes it makes it a little easier because i don't have to put velcro down that side now and what i'll do is put velcro around both sides that way it can seal up and you can make these any size that you want you're probably going to want some variance in your sizes some of the bigger lures are any bigger ones obviously smaller ones will need smaller ones um, one tip i will give you that i don't see in the commercial ones is when it's all said and done i'm going to round off the corners um, probably not back here on the seam but definitely up here uh, so that you don't have that harsh edge like a lot of the commercial covers do so let's get to let's get started
everybody. That's another straight up, simple, cheap do-it-yourself video from Penguin Outdoors. So please don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Like seriously, I know I say it, it in most of my videos at some point, but it's just truly humbling that there's a few hundred of you that like my content enough to subscribe and continue to watch it. And I hope that that'll grow and it really does motivate me. And from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. So if you're already a subscriber, shout out. And if you're not, get it done. What are you waiting for? Let's go subscribe today. Peace out. Catch you in the next video. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.